Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Today we've got some returning guests in Austin and Nathan. How are you going guys? How you doing? Yeah, good. good to see you, Nugget. You guys have been very busy, uh, busy building Australia's first, if not the world's first, advanced diploma in applied blockchain. Yeah. Yep. So, well, congratulations, but uh, what is it? Go ahead. All right. So what it is, it's the first accredited course. Um, um, what that means is it's, it's a hell of a lot deeper in the content and it's a lot richer than any of the short courses that are currently out there. So a lot of people say, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is... One is you're getting career ready, you're actually going to be capable, from a standing start, you'd be capable of implementing blockchain into a business because through the process, you actually get vocational experience. You've actually got to do it and prove it to get uh, the qualification. So it's just a different level, yeah. Yeah, and as we know, there's plenty of people out there that are seeking experience in this industry, but there's no real yeah. official accreditation. Yeah, that's right. And also, there's a lot of people who go, I'm an expert. And then you find out they've been trading crypto for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that was that's right across uh, YouTube or the real world or everything as well. Yeah. I guess so. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ad Adkura behind you guys, I take it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all of our uh, graduating students get an honorary fellowship with Adka. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. And they, yeah. they were instrumental in in the creation of the course, bringing industry support and mm. validation. Yeah. So the course's design has been around what industry has been requesting and demanding from a, uh, like what they want to see happen. So it's not kind of like we had an idea and we said, let's create something. It, this is fully endorsed by the the leading industry bodies. Yeah. And ADCA, for those that don't know, definitely interfaces more with government and regulators and the top mm. end of town. Whereas I think Blockchain Australia, um, you know, a little bit more grassroots, community focused, and now we're starting to see this overlap and it all come together. It's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Absolutely, everyone's working together. It's great. So, what are the benefits for students or the outcomes um, once they have done this? Really, uh, what we're looking to do is bridge the gap between people having the technical knowledge to code blockchain and people actually having the strategic thinking on how to apply it to business. Um, so, it's really that uh, that that. I suppose that where there's been that disconnect, you know, businesses right now, they get excited about blockchain. Everyone wants, uh, you know, everyone goes, yeah, I'm putting our business on blockchain, but they have no idea how to actually apply it or the strategic thinking about, uh, you know, when a, when a smart contract actually should be used or when it shouldn't or uh, all of those sort of things. This really, it really is the nuts and bolts. Yeah. 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 And, and further to that is there's a lot of very talented people who can code blockchain, but again, it doesn't necessarily, they uh, it doesn't mean that they know exactly where it should go in the business. And mm. you, you get people saying, oh, I'm going to make my whole business blockchain. Sometimes it's not the solution. And just knowing that is mm. part of the solution of the course, you know, is getting people the understanding of, okay, it fits or it doesn't fit, you know, or it fits here, but it doesn't fit across the rest of it. It's kind of where yeah. we're at. One of the themes all year has been everything's happening behind the background, whether it be the back-end developers with a great idea that don't know how to get the front-end right or the people that know yeah. blockchain but don't know how to apply it to a business. So it yeah. is very exciting to see this hopefully all coming together and we have a complete business model for these blockchain projects now. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, and the, some of the units re relate exactly to that is like uh, blockchain business models and so forth, you know. And so governance. it's the thinking around like how, how could you, if you're starting a new business, you want it blockchain ready, how do you form your business model around that so you're getting the best components of it? Awesome. So what format is this delivered, guys? Is it going to be very popular online, I believe, or is it also physical locations? We've we've actually got three delivery me uh, methods. We're going to be uh, delivering uh, through RTOs or registered training organisations in Australia. Uh, there will also be universities around the world that are going to be putting it uh, on as well. There's some pretty exciting talks around that. And um, there's really three ways that we'll be delivering. There's online, uh, there's blended, which will be part online and part in the classroom. But uh, one of the things we're really excited about is also the intensives, which uh, we're going to have um, basically high-end trainers flying in, uh, corporate gigs, 12 days, uh, and they'll really, uh, really get into it over that 12 days, and then they'll go away and finish off their coursework after that. Yeah, project work. Project work, yeah. 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 That's awesome. I might have to put my uni hat on and go back to school again, guys. <laughs> um, well, that's the next question, I guess. When are enrolments opening up for all this? So we're looking for first wave of students to come through starting February 2019. So that's just around the corner nowadays. Yep. 
And um, so, yeah, so we're, we're pretty much ready to go on the back end and it's just a few things uh, we just want to line up, make sure the, the user experience is going to be unbelievable. Awesome. And you mentioned the duration of that 12-day sort of high-intensity workshop, but what's the normal duration for the average person doing the course? Average is going to be somewhere between 12 months and 18 months, depending on how quick someone moves. There, there'll be a lot of people who do uh, quicker, and that'll just be because they bring more more effort to the table or they can prove some of their skill sets already. So they may be already involved in projects and can demonstrate. Mm. Therefore, they, they're just, uh, okay. you know, showing their existing skill sets and demonstrating that and then they just get through a hell of a lot quicker. That's awesome, yep. awesome. Um, so why do you guys believe that this is uh, so important? As you say, this is probably because it can tie someone um, or tie everything together in a business if they have this individual that might have done this course as well as all their developers and all their other front end mm -hmm. guys and so on. So. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess it's, uh, you know, from a company's point of view, looking at, um, you know, when you're recruiting, you just want, you, you need some, we, we, saw, we were looking at it just thinking, you need some sort of standard. You want to be able to sort of sit there and go, hang on, this person's done you know, at least this level of education. So we're going we're, we're gonna to recruit them. So from a recruiting point of view, from a, I guess, even insurance point of view, you know, if, you, if you've got people that are actually accredited in an industry, uh, all of these sort of things make a difference. So we really wanted to, to fill that gap. Yeah, I mean, apart from the developers, really mm. nobody had worked in a blockchain business up until, mm. I guess, Ethereum yeah. even came along. So all these yeah. people handing in their resumes might have some business skills or a, a bit yeah. of this or that, but there's been no standard, as you say, for blockchain. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Where, where we're aiming is to be that benchmark. So equivalent of like the RG146 of finance, is to bring the same sort of standards into blockchain because it's it's necessary uh, if we're going to mm. go through this mass adoption to have quality uh, standards where people can rely on at least like what Austin said at least you've got this education and and you've got that vocational skill we can we can determine that's a suitable person to go in and um, implement things into business for sure. Awesome. Mm. And by the time this goes to air, guys, um, you will have been featured in the AFR, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, that was good fun. Uh, we we're lucky enough to have an interview for the blockchain, the first uh, blockchain insert into the AFR. Uh, so that's cool, and it should be an ongoing thing. Uh, so awesome. that'll be something to keep our eyes out for. Mm. Great to get a bit of mainstream recognition. Well, any final thoughts for anyone at home, guys, that might be considering this or wants more information about it? I'll put the links in the description below. Yeah, okay. cool. So um, first thing is. Yeah, if you want to make a career out of blockchain as far as consulting or, or anything like that or you're working on a project, this is definitely in the right direction. Mm. Uh, there's also room as we move forward, as the market expands out, there'll be room for educators and so forth as well. So, Absolutely. yeah, we're certainly open to uh, taking people through the journey. Awesome. Well, congrats, guys, on everything that you've achieved to date. And it is fantastic to see this sort of thing that's going to help real-world adoption and help a lot of these, hopefully, Australian projects uh, mature. Yeah. Really appreciate everything you do for the Space Nugget. Cool. Thanks, Thanks guys. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. Thanks so much, man.